I have been craving for some Indian goodness for a while and today I've decided let me make this beef curry and who knows so I decided to bring you along and let's make it together so I have these boneless meat cubes beef cubes that I got from Sky Meat Shop if you follow me on Instagram you already know about these guys they are amazing you need to check them out and get yourself some clean meat we have dry ingredients or whole spices black pepper corns anise cinnamon thyme and coriander seeds and then we have chopped onion garlic and ginger paste I have some plain yogurt and then of course oil and some tomato paste then i have the dry ones i have curry i have smoked paprika turmeric and ground black pepper just to add in a little more extraness yeah so let's get into the heat and get cooking but as i pour this oil i'm going to request you if this is my first video you're watching and you are not subscribed or even if it's it's not the first one but you're not subscribed please take this moment as this whole oil heats up to subscribe it's free of charge and it really helps me grow it's the least you can do for me yeah thank you for being kind so anyways once the oil heats up we are going to add in the whole spices these ones are like the base of the whole flavor in this if you do not know this is an indian dish and india is like the the town for spices yeah it's like the flavor hub so these guys really go hard on flavor and yeah I would have used some chili but if you already know you know i have children and i'm not about to cook three meals just to accommodate even the other people so i'll add chili in my plate anyways once the spices are you know fragrant and all nice add in the chopped onions and fry them until they're translucent and then add in the ginger and garlic paste it burns out so quickly so you must make sure that you're there and you're using low heat and keep turning this is so aromatic i wish you could like smell something from the phone but yeah once the onions are this you know flaky gold and nice add in the beef and then keep on turning of course yeah we are making authentic indian curry the only thing missing here is chili but the remaining standard anyways mix this beef cubes i'm using the boneless one because I want to feel every bite and I don't want to be worried. If you know me, you know I hate meat that has no bones, but this is a must try. It's a banger. Anyways, once the onions are all mixed into that, we are going to add in our powder or ground spices, which were curry, turmeric, smoked paprika, and if you have cumin, please add in a little bit. My cumin is done and I forgot to order, but the curry already has some cumin. And then I'm going to add in some little bit of water and mix it. Of course, as usual, don't forget to season. The meat was already seasoned, so keep on checking and adding salt as you would want it to taste. Mix it properly and cover for about 30 to 40 minutes and it has cooked down. It's all nice and tender and this is how it looks like. We are going to just go in there and turn it around. I know some people who would serve it at this stage. I know you. I know people who would serve this meat at this stage and chew it before dinner time. But we are going to go on because it's a family, it's a big family. We are not going to just waste meat like that. And we add in some, about a tablespoon of tomato paste, mix it in well and go in with our plain yogurt. If you have the Greek yogurt, much better. But yeah, we are using the full fat plain yogurt and making it extra creamy there's that savory like that there's some tanginess in the yogurt that comes out so perfectly if there was chili in this one if there was chili in this one my friend if you're cooking for yourself and you have some chili flakes you have some whole chili or habaneros please go on ahead and set your stomach on fire it needs to know who's the boss yeah very good make your toilet trips worth it and this is going to be a banger. I don't know what you would serve this with, but cook it down after adding in that yogurt and some little bit of water to the right consistency you want. And garnish with some fresh herbs. I used dania. You can choose whatever you want to garnish with. Dania is the same as coriander. And we are done. Serve with whatever you have at home and see you soon in my next video. Bye.